Das Das What do you got? I can move, I can move the, uh, the anger. All right, we got Eli's Mooney, what year? 75. 1975. What model? M20S. And what motor do you have in this? The IO360. How many horsepower? 200. This is 200 horse. And I see it's fully retracted. Yep. So out of all the planes you decide to choose, why the Mooney? A Mooney's cheap? Uh, compared to the other airplanes on the market right now, it's cheap. Um, like for a certified airplane with IO360, it's probably the cheapest airplane you can get uh, that's actually worth flying. Um, because all the, all the Cessnas are obnoxiously expensive. Um, but also, it's a good, like a really good cross country airplane. Because, I mean, these the perks of these are pretty quick comparative to a Cessna, aren't they? Yeah. And, so like cruise speed and burn rate, what, what are you usually seeing? If you're to do a cross country flight and you're just like numbers that you're shooting for. It all depends, obviously. Yeah. You can get 145 at, you know, 10 gallons an hour. 145 um, knots. If you were, you know, if you roll it back, you can do like 140 at like eight and a half, if you're lucky. Yeah. But you gotta be, you gotta be lucky to get that. Um, so, yeah. That's incredible. And uh, how long have you had this plane? Uh, since May of last year. Oh. But it's been an overhaul for nine months, so <laughs> not really. So she's been kind of cooped up, huh? Yeah. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I had to go do something else besides flying this airplane. Well, let's see this uh, cockpit of this thing. Uh, Eli, FYI, is... How, when did you just turn 19, didn't you? Nope, I'm still 18. You're still 18? I turned 19 and... This son of a gun is 18, private pilot, IFR, and CFI. And double I, and MEI. And, and M you're MEI now? Yep. 18 and this, like, that's ridiculous. That's, that's amazing. Well, pretty good besides the in-op hey, autopilot. Hey, one <laughs> should always have an in-op sticker. It doesn't matter where. I don't know. I don't even know if we can get that pre-selector fixed, to be honest. I think wow. it's rough. And this interior, is this the original interior? Uh, no, nah, it's, it's been redone. But s similar as far as colors? I believe so. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the old interior was, but it, it's a lot newer, as you can see. You know, it's funny. I rock the same cushions as mine. Oh, because I think <laughs> the, seat, the seat cushions need a little bit of work. That's, <laughs> That's a good looking cockpit. And you have a uh, storage, you know, this guy right here? Yeah, the underwall storage. Yeah. Teddy bear included? Yep. Nice. You gotta have the teddy bear. Gotta have that ballast. And then we have, uh, I don't know, this is supposedly the uh, hat rack back here where we can collect hats, but I kind of gave up on that after <laughs> a while. I, I did have a few, like, a few hats that I had from, like, Leadville and Boulder and all that, but that didn't, that didn't, didn't pan out. So how many variants of the, I mean, because obviously Mooney has a signature swept, what would you call this, a swept tail? What? Uh, oh, reverse tail. Reverse tail? I mean, it's a signature Mooney sort of thing. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it's like the thing for Mooney. There's, there's one company that did it. Uh, it's like the Aero Commander Lark thing. There's like a Sesta with a Mooney tail. It's a little bit eerie, actually. Oh uh, yeah. Out on the ramp. Uh, it looks really dumb. <laughs> but yes, generally the only popular airplanes are Mooney. The signature thing. And how many? Do you know how many variants of the Mooney models there are? There, there's a ton of variants, but you can pretty much categorize them into three things. You got the short body, the mid body, and the long body. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so that's about the, so the short bodies were all the early, early minis, A, B, C, um, D, E were all short bodies. Um, and they're just, they're short in that you have no legroom in the back at all, like pretty much nothing. <laughs> and then somebody complained about that. So they came out with mid bodies. This is one of the mid bodies. Mid bodies. It used to be the long body, but okay. now they come out with an even longer body. So, so they have an even larger variant. Then. Um, and so yeah, that'd be like the, 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 the new ones are all long, long bodies compared to the, the really old ones. But this one, uh, it has like an extra 12 inches leg room in the, wow. uh, 
in the back or something somewhere around that. I don't remember exactly. And then you have the long bodies. The long bodies being um, so this is relative to like a M twenty J model. M twenty J model. Okay. And so a J model would be the two hundred one. It's like the most common type. Okay. Uh, Mooney, um, and like the most well-known type. This is similar. It's not quite as good as one of those because it has those that have like a you know a uniform back window as opposed to two small ones and you know, a few different things that make them a little bit faster. Um, but it's a similar thing to this. And then they have like the new the new age of Moonies, which are all even longer and then like the ovations and they do like 300 miles an hour. They're um, quick, aren't they? Yeah, there's like a, a, I think it's 242 knots is the top speed of uh, the newest ovation. And then they went out of business for like the eighth time, so now they don't sell them anymore. But Go Mooney. <laughs> when they did, I mean, it, they've been bankrupt like seven times. So. so, and on this particular model, you have two wing tanks mm -hmm. and where are they on each side, gallon wise? Uh, 32 a size. So it's just 64 gallons? Yeah. And what, the, what usual range would you... I mean, Given perfect conditions, what would you? Given perfect conditions, I might try to get to Indiana on it. Um, that's one of the flights that I have done a few times because my grandparents live out there. And what was that? Not up miles. I've never, I've never made it in one stop. Yeah. But I think I could. You could. Uh, that that that'd be kind of pushing it. Um, it's I, like nine hundred nautical miles. That's so. pretty pretty darn good. Um, and the whole elevator system I see is one that's fixed with the rear. So no, so it's just it, it still moves like a. Like, what do you mean? Oh, I meant like some some aircraft. They, you know, you see the whole entire. Oh, oh. You know, like the what the Piper Warrior. I think the whole. The the the, the entire. Stable, right? yeah. Stable, yeah, stable air. Um, and then yeah, one well, a couple of cool things about it. So for one, tail, um, is directly connected to the gear, which is why they have the do not push, uh, because you'll just break things if you try and if you if you actually put enough force that you move it you'll just bend things it's connected directly to it's the gear connected directly to the nose wheel and it's not like on a cessna where it's like a bungee yeah it just straight connects to the nose wheel um which is also why you can bend things if you overturn the nose wheel it's like one of the biggest issues people have is if you tow the mooney you have to be really careful about how you tow it or you can you can over steer the nose wheel but other cool thing is if you look here you can see that little seam there yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead. Get in here for a second. I just want to go ahead and pull off that. Uh, it's moving. Yeah. So you can see it's not only. I guess it's the trim system is not only. It's not like a uh, you know one of those jack screw airplanes where it moves this whole system. Not only does it move that, it moves the whole entire tail. So it moves the the vertical and horizontal stabilizer. You have like a little system here. And then here, and that just hinges the whole entire tail. So the ent entire horizontal and the tail system move? Yeah, and it, horizontal and vertical stabilizer all move when you trim it. Um, it's a complete bitch to trim <laughs> because you've got to really get in and, like, it, it's geared, you know, it's geared so you actually are able to move it. But That's I mean, incredible. It doesn't move very much with each roll. So you kind of have to spin it, like, five times to get what you want out of yeah. it. But uh, it makes it faster. That's why they did it. <laughs> You'll find a trend with Mooney that yeah. that's, that's why they do everything, is that it made it a little bit faster. So, I mean, these are, these are inherently quick planes. They burn a low amount of fuel compared to what you're getting performance-wise. Mm -hmm. What would you say the negative drawbacks of a Mooney would be? Uh, you can't short field the thing worth a shit. You can't? Um, they just they don't come down very well because the flaps are really poor. <laughs> The flaps are. You can see how long they are, but they don't actually do anything. They just. They're just, pretty small, aren't they? Well, they're, they're pretty small, and they don't have, you know, the whole thing that every pilot talks about, uh, where you have like slotted feller flaps that, that help you. Uh, so if we put them down, you can see there isn't really like a gap to rejuvenate airflow over the flap, uh, or at least not a large enough one to really get anything out of it. And then it doesn't come out and down. It doesn't increase wing area like it does in a Cessna, where it actually slides out. So it just kind of sucks. So soft field landings are kind of a pain yeah, short, in the butt. Short, short and soft. And soft. It doesn't really do very well. And the bigger thing is also so the gear. If we look at the gear, is not good. The um, gear is not good. <laughs> uh, I mean, the gear is fine. It, it feels nice on on landings, but if you look at it, it's just these little rubber donut puck things. And that's all you have. There's no suspension on the gear. So those pucks are essentially what's absorbing most of the impact. Yes. So if you land off field, you bounce around and it transfers energy straight to the wing. 
um, which for one wouldn't be that good to begin with. Um, you know, you don't have that leaf spring system that you have on the Cessna. Um, but the real thing that hurts on it is that it transfers energy right into the fuel tank. Because the fuel tank is the wing. It's a wet wing. So it's essentially the fuel tank is just, it it's uses the aluminum wing. There's no, there's nothing else. In so it. this actual wing structure right here is the tank. So yeah, if you feel here, that's yeah. the aluminum right, right there. This is the tank. And so it's sealed right there. And that gear mechanism, essentially, the tank fuel tank absorbs what that rubber puck did not. Yeah. So that's why almost all Moonies leak fuel after a while. <laughs> uh, is if you, especially if you land off field, you're just gonna you're gonna end up you know hurting the seal from the fuel tank. So if somebody has a pretty hard landing, have you ever seen those those go right up through the? So it's not gonna go up through there. It's it's connected to the main structure of the strut and everything, or uh, strut, yeah, the wing strut, and all that. It's not going to like. Um, you're not actually gonna just have it punch through the bottom of the thing. Yeah. But it's mostly just. Uh, yeah, it's not actually all dumping all the energy to the tank. Most of it's probably going to the wing spar and all that. And it's not, you know, hor horrible, horrible, but it's probably enough vibration coming through the tank that you've heard all kinds of stories of people getting, you know, having to re having to redo their Mooney tanks. Eventually, people, like, if you were actually going to go off field with it, you would just use fuel platters. So that way you wouldn't have, you know, you could, it could leak as much as you want and it wouldn't hurt anything. But fuel platters reduce, reduce total fuel load, increase useful weight and all that. So and if you were, you know, let's say a new pilot was looking at, ooh, I'm going to look at a Cessna, or I'm going to get a Mooney, or I'm going to get a Piper, uh, would yeah. you advise a new per, new pilot getting a Mooney? So I started flying the Mooney at about 100 hours, and I don't think I really knew what I was doing for about 50 hours. Um, it, it's a lot of airplane, and the biggest thing is that there's no continuity. You know, if you get into a Cessna, then you go to a 172RG not much different yeah uh but you know like looking at the cockpit it's not the cockpit's bad it's just different it's such a different setup it's a and totally different plane isn't it? yeah everything's everywhere else and then also you know it's just a lot of airplane it moves quick and you can get behind it if you're not you know looking at it and you know it's there's a reason mooney insurance rates are just huge because you have people who cure up them all the time i'm not going to name any names. oh yeah we already had <laughs> we already had last week was interesting with a mooney uh, but yeah, so I mean, you know, you already have those kinds of issues, um, uh, and, and, and if you know how to fly them, they're no different than any other airplane, but there's a bit of a learning curve, um, just like anything else. Um, totally understandable. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Should, should I pull this thing out? Sure. Oh, one other feature. Yes. This. You know what that is? Probably not. I don't... That no, that looks well. like a Choco Taco dispenser. <laughs> so, pretty much what happens, this is our air filter here, um, as you could probably guess. Um, but I'm going to go in here, I'm going to pull what's called ram air. Um, and you want something to split. Uh, totally opened up. Yeah. So you can see how it opens? Yes. Pretty much what that does, like I said, you'll see a trend here with Mooney. Um, it just completely bypasses the air filter. Um, so it makes it so that the air that the engine's burning, instead of coming from the air filter, is just coming through this hole. Um, so you get essentially a cold, true cold air intake with no restriction. Yeah, you're pretty much just taking straight air. So, and so you do open that up when you're mid-flight? So yeah, if you want extra performance out of it, you can open that and they refer to it as a poor man's turbo poor man's turbo because <laughs> it is a poor man's turbo <laughs> um, but you can get an extra you know few knots out of it um for not that much i mean you have to increase the mixture a little bit so you do it's not exactly fuel efficient but you can get a few more knots and get some extra performance especially at high altitudes so in the mountains it helps a lot um and yeah it's like an extra half inch to an inch of manifold pressure somewhere in that range wow um, now is this uh, obviously it's retract, mm -hmm. and this is 200 horsepower. Yep. So it's not high performance. And do you have constant speed or fixed? It's constant speed. It's all, con all the Moonies were constant speed. They are. I think one. There was one model that they came out that was like a trainer. Was it the co the single passenger Mooney? Have Isn't you seen that? that? Oh, so, so 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 they have those. Yeah, but sorry, all the M20s. Okay. Were were constant speed except. There was an M20D that had like a fixed gear, and then you could remove a pin, and it became retract. So the idea was you learned in the Mooney, and it became a retract later on oh. after you finished learning in it. It didn't. It didn't really take off. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take off. No pun intended, right? <laughs> yeah, so, like, <laughs> Amazing. 
And pattern speed, what are you shooting for? When, you know, like, let's say downwind base to final, what's, what's your pattern speed? So you're doing, I uh, just want to clarify, they have miles an hour and knots in the airspeed indicator. I always did knots because it made more sense to me because I had flown other airplanes that did knots. My dad does it on speed. Um and so it feels really ridiculous at 94. That's best. That's VY. That's, that's VY best. is 94. Yep. Because you can suck the gear, you wow. go a lot faster before you do that. Rotate speed. What are you rotating at? Oh, uh, you're rotating at about 62. Okay, um, so not too bad. I mean, it's 61 is what they say. Yeah. Sometimes if you're heavy, you go a little bit higher. If you're light, you can rotate at 61. <laughs> but oh, there's also a cool thing down here. It's never done anything for me in my life. There's a little button down there that you can do. It releases water out of the pitot-static system. It releases water out of the pitot-static? Like, if there's any water that got to the pitot-static, yeah. this little button here. That. Wait, yeah, this, right there. And you push it in, and it's supposed to release water. I don't know if it even works. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, but we're also so dry that I don't... I mean, I gotta give Mooney credit. They've really tried. The, the fixed gear or, or, versus retract option for no, nuisance. I mean, these are good. They tried to be really innovative, didn't they? Mooney was a very good company, but they weren't. They were a very good airplane design company. They weren't a very good at running company themselves. They weren't good at writing checks, were they? Uh, yeah, I mean, I also my favorite story is the so Mooney was actually a contributing partner to TBM. Um, Mooney, the M in TBM is Mooney. Um, I didn't know that. But they dropped out. <laughs> they went bankrupt before the TBM came out. So Mooney came out with a 301, which is a turbine Mooney, um, and... So they had a turbine variant of this. It wasn't this exactly, it was bigger. Bigger. So it was a turbine. Um, and they tried to sell it, didn't really get traction, and then they said, okay, we need to redesign this and make it better. And that's where the TBM was coming from. And they helped joint design it with, uh, what, a Cicada? Yeah, Cicada. Um, and then Mooney went under. <laughs> and then, uh, so it's sort of like, right, like it was, Probably a year before it came out, something like that. I forget exactly what the speed mods. So speed mods, you mentioned, this would normally have the alternator exposed. Yeah. So on some old model Moonies, um, it had the alternator exposed. I believe we were one of them because I don't think Mooney came out with. They ended up coming out later on with a J model that just had an opening here and an opening here, like modern, you know, series. And, and stuff so like they that. essentially stuck in the skirt. That skirt, yeah, it protects it. And you can see it's a little janky, like here. You kind of it's bent out as you can see so it's not like perfect the reason being that it was af kind of aftermarket and another speed mod he said was the windshield yeah the windshield is and it's one of the very common speed mods that people do because it adds a few knots and it increases visibility because you can it's a one-piece windshield as opposed to a uh, as opposed to the two halves i um, just flew a cardinal not too long ago and well, have you seen how cardinal has way more visibility for the pilot than a typical Cessna. No. <laughs> it's incredible. And I I used to make fun of them. And then I flew in one. I'm like, wow, this is like a much better 172. Well, without the strut, I'm sure it also... It's amazing. It across the board, it helps. But, but. And any other speed mods? There's flap track bearings. Those ones aren't as interesting. There's, they sit over the flap uh, and over the flap track and just help. Those little guys that yeah. sit off the back. They just help with keeping those from getting too much airflow over them. But they're not... Wait. I might need my phone, but you know. Okay, and then other thing, don't slam it. That's uh, another common air, but you can leave it kind of open for now if you want. Got it. Burn. All right, so we'll go ahead and write down our time. Should be 47. Oh, that's on. I run checklist, trust me. Go drop! Got that. 
you have it on the throat, I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know why they put it there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's only. Like, I love it. It's only like 20 moonies, I think, that were even made with this throttle cartridge. That's the other thing. The prop, the prop, when you pull it back, you have to be really careful so you can't just twist it. Same with mixture, you can't just twist it. It's not like a normal. Even even most Moonies have a normal one. But I don't know. This wow. one, they just really want to pull it back.
all back here. <laughs> Holy crap. This, this thing is an absolute rocket. I'm, I never, I mean, I knew these are fast, but the fact that we got up to 14,000, what were we at? What was the highest point we were at? 14, uh, let me check four flight. Cause four flight will tell us our GPS altitude. I mean, this thing got up there. The barometric altitude is going to be wrong, but we were high. Yeah, we were high. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Unbelievable. We were not in force. Absolute years. rocket. Like, I never expected this before. For 200 horsepower, I mean, this thing absolutely moves. Like, I mean, I'm... Density move? altitude now is uh, 7... It's 8,000. 8,000. Density altitude. Um, and it was higher just a second ago. Unbelievable. Well, that is a Mooney for you. Uh, <laughs> probably one of the... Price point. This is probably like the best hot rod you could get for the price. I, I'm like amazed that we got it the price we did. I'm so happy with this airplane. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, that's even with the fucking engine overhaul at 400 hours. <laughs> it really sucks. It's still one of those things where it's, it's just cool. Unbelievable. Well, I definitely approve of a Mooney. First time in one, and uh, I'm downright impressed. With nitrous. It's a 350 with nitrous. Wow. But this was a 496, so it's got way more fuel. 